Okay, so here we have a squeaky dryer. That is the sound of a bad roller. Okay, I like the little sign here. If you leave the door open, the light will burn out. Plus, it'll uh, use more electricity. The door on the dryer. And leave the door slightly open on the washer so the bacteria doesn't build up. Bacteria tends to build up in here, particularly on these Maytags, on the Maytags, Neptunes. So, yeah, so this one also has a kink vent. We see the vent is kinked right there. And that, was, that would cause long drying times right there. That kink in the vent, it's pinched down halfway. Okay, so we need to fix that and then Take this top off, the two Phillips screws off here, out here, need to come off. Um, then I pry this open. Normally I'll push back from here, or pull toward me, and then you can get a little gap here, and then you can pull this up. And so there are two screws, one there, and then one there. That is like a, you can use a nut driver to pull it off. And here's where you tighten up your flaps on the inside. If your flaps are loose, they're loose, you can tighten them up here. But these are not loose, so we're good there. So I'll take this off. Sometimes I leave this on, sometimes I take it off. You can take these off if you you can see there's a little tab right there in the middle. You have to pry it, pry the, this one over that tab to pull it out. Be careful because this can break here. This is like a ceramic plastic that is breakable, so there, be very careful with that. So we have the drum out, door off, drum out. It is possible the belt was not seated correctly on the, on the idler. This can happen if somebody I had a lady that bought a dryer from me and she spun the barrel backwards. Normally, I believe it goes clockwise, but if you spin it counterclockwise, it may get loose on the idler. Anyway, she spun it counterclockwise to clean it and then the belt came off the idler. This cock eye on the idler caused problems. So check out the roller. See this roller shot is what the problem is. And I don't think it destroyed the shaft because running on the plastic part of the roller. So that was the problem. That was the culprit right there. And it's very common for that one to go, particularly on these gas dryers near the heated whatever, flannel or and where it's near that heat. Motor seems to be pretty good. The vent is not plugged, that's good. Okay, well let's get working on this and replace that roller. And so I just have, happen to have another roller here and we're gonna put on there. So first thing we need to do is take that stay off and take the old one off. So basically to pull this the wheel off basically you just grab this little thing here which kind of holds it in place and pull it kind of weave it back and forth until the, um, the little keeper comes off this uh, this wheel here fell apart from the inside I've never seen anyone fall apart like that before 
basically it's all apart from the inside. Usually it'll just get loose on this and spin like that and then wear out the center here. But maybe it did both. Maybe it got on their cockeye, but it still has a, a salvageable shaft on it. So that's how we fix this. We just put another one on it, a good one. And we're back rolling again. Okay, I'm gonna show you how this belt is set up. Basically, of course it's gonna go around the barrel. When you put the barrel in, then it, the belt will of course go around the barrel and you can see the mark on the barrel. And so basically what you wanna do is you wanna set your idler like this. Right like that. Then the belt goes with the ribs facing the drum or the barrel. The belt goes under here through this. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. And then around the idler. So that's basically how the belt goes. And of course there'll be more tension on it because the barrel will be there where the bat and the drum will be in place and so there'll be the belt will have more tension on it and that's what this spring here is all about so if you have the belt like on like so and then the barrel in place that's how that belt goes always good to check flow on the lynch here. We have pretty good flow here right now. There is a little bit of buildup inside here as you can see. A, a, uh, a vent brush would, uh, would be in order at this point. But it's got a good flow on it. The better it flows, the more efficient the dry the dryer will run, the less electricity you'll use. And also it's a good idea to make sure that any vents into the room are clear and free to suck in air because the dryer is sort of like a big vacuum cleaner or it's just like you and me brother, we've got to breathe, inhale and exhale. So we got to make sure that everything's going to be flowing. Okay, so we can see that this band has a kink in it. Basically, what we need to do is take it off, clean it out, and shorten it. Shorten it. We'll shorten it and just have us kind of an elbow right here. It's just too long going out. Yeah, I have to shorten a lot of vents. They're just too long and they get kinked up. The longer the vent is, the more it has to, the more energy is needed to push it out. Okay, so here's an easy way. I clean these dryer vents out. You just tap on. Not too bad. Okay. 
So we're gonna have to do a little MacGyver engineering to get this, cut this to the right length so that it doesn't kink up in there. You can see. Okay, so that's a good angle right there. A lot better than the kink. And here's your disclaimer, guys. This video is for informational purposes only because working on dryers may be hazardous. Okay, got it pretty well buttoned up. Just before we finish up, we're going to check it before we tighten the last couple of screws here. Oh, that's a lot quieter. So you can hear that clicking sound. That clicking sound is likely a coin that slid behind one of the flappers. But yeah, it should be good to go. Another 300,000 miles. If this video helped you or if you'd like to support reuse and recycling worldwide, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. And if you know anybody interested in my How to Make Money in the Appliance Repair Business course, which includes a link to over 100 repair videos and a year's coaching, uh, con you can also contact me regarding the training course as well. Thanks for watching.